and boom, we have our own robot POV. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today we're going to go over how to do the, the, the little robot um, effects in Adobe Premiere Pro in our own work. So you know, unless you've been living under a rock for the past couple of weeks, you know what Squid Game is now. Squid Game is the number one trending uh, TV series on Netflix. Everyone's talking about it. I've watched it myself personally about a week ago. Amazing show. I highly recommend it. Um, it's a Korean uh, survival game, but that's beside the point. How do we actually do that effect? I'm going to show now. On Adobe Premiere Pro, that kind of like robot, um, when, when the doll's looking at the contestants and seeing which ones are moving and scanning them, we're going to do that in Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, this is a pretty cool method. You can use this in your own work. I'm going to be using it in my own work in the future. Um, but that was the inspiration for this video. So, if you want to support the channel, link in the description. Go buy me a coffee and jump straight to the video. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on our channel. My name is Jack Fairley, I'm a freelance videographer, photographer, and video editor. Produce wee content on videography and video editing. And if you want to support the channel, like I said, link in the description. Go buy me a coffee, the amount's up to you. So, jump me straight into this. First things first, you need a clip like that where the tripod is stationary and you've got people moving towards it and stopping, but we don't have that clip because of coronavirus and it hit me real hard. So, what we're going to have to do with my uh, short film stalker. Now I've got a still part here where the camera doesn't move. I'm behind a car stalking um, my quote unquote crush. So if you want to go check out that out actually, my short film is up there and we've got to stop waffling. So first thing we need to do is go to YouTube and download a um, robot POV green screen or something like that. What I did was I went to YouTube and I put in robot eye green screen and it literally came up with all of these but I went with the Terminator one so that's the one I went with so that's the first step second step is actually getting your clip on the timeline like we have here and then what you want to do is drag that the visuals only drag the visuals only on top that's the important on top of the clip and then what we're going to do, we're going to right click, if it's like that, what you're going to do is right click and sit and hit set to frame size. And what that's going to do is going to set it to the frame size. And then what we're going to do, you can either come up here to effects on the top bar, <coughs> or you can come down to the bottom left, hit this little down arrow and hit effects. And now what we're going to search is, I've already searched for it, we're going to search for key, and then we're going to come down here to where it says ultra key. We're going to drag ultra key onto the actual visual clip of the robot eye. So we're going to drag it onto there and then we're going to come over to effect controls selecting the actual clip itself and as we can see here we've applied the uh, effect onto the clip so we're going to hit this little um, eyedropper, this little pen and boom we have our own robot POV. Now I don't know about you but this is pretty sick. I'm down with the cool kids now. Um, so as you can see here we've got our own robot POV. You can get different types of one, go on like a stock image site or YouTube and look around and see if you can find one that actually matches the robot in Squid Game but no one's done that yet because it's a fairly new series so we're doing the best that we have and first one that came to my attention was this one so what you could do actually you could keyframe it if we hit toggle animation that's going to create a keyframe and then as Caitlyn moves we can move the actual scanner along with her, so it's actually kind of tracking her. So let's play that, and it actually starts to <laughs> slowly but surely starts to track her like that. So that's just a little uh, method, on, a quick little cool tutorial, I think, on how to actually do the robot POV in Adobe Premiere Pro featured from Squid Game. I highly recommend that series. Season 2 is coming out, we don't know when, but it's confirmed. Amazing series, but that's just been a quick little method on how to do the robot POV from Squid Game in Adobe Premiere Pro. So if you like what you see here guys, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for, to be notified when I upload a new video to the channel. And if you want to learn the basics of Adobe Premiere Pro, check that playlist up there. I go over all of the basics, how to lay foundational knowledge for Adobe Premiere Pro. And if you want to support the channel, 
click the link in the description like I said go buy me a coffee the amount's up to you and yeah don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next video